You're watching On Air Podcast right here. Make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. When you were, when you were talking about your school, right? Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> so we're in Surkhet. We're in Surkhet. It's it's far. It's far. Far from here, mm -hmm. where we're sitting at the moment, mm -hmm. right? Uh, Kathmandu has its own bubble. A lot of people don't want to agree with me, but that's completely okay. I used to say this back in 2005. I still say it in 2023. It's, it has its own bubble. We are in a bubble. Probably I am in a bubble. Kathmandu Everybody's bubble in too. a bubble where they live. It's okay yeah. to admit it. It's fine. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, we have our own bubble. I'm, sh I'm sure we have your own bubble in Surkhet. I'm sure somebody who is listening to this in uh, other parts of the country have their own, own bubble and their own, they live in their own space, you know? Totally. You've created it in Surkhet. You've created it there. Now, how do we make it? You know where I'm getting into, right? How do we, even if we can take a little bit of it, not the whole, whole thing of Kopila, just a bit of it, just a bit of it, to different parts of uh, the country, maybe within the government system, try to embed a lot of things. How can we make that possible? Because I still remember yesterday, you didn't want to dig into this because you didn't have time uh, mm -hmm. in that conference, right? Mm -hmm. We have all the time in the world here. Mm -hmm. Not um, Again, obviously, not trying to say that you got to preach, but just trying to say, what are the things that we could embed within the school system, government school system, within where you are at? How can we, what can we, what can we just go ahead and infuse? Okay, so I think the first thing is like, let's let Nepali schools be Nepali, like truly and in the sense. So <laughs> like, what is, what are our ancient wisdoms, cultures, traditions that we can learn from and, and embrace? Mm. What, what was, let's talk about organic farming. Let's talk about the beautiful birds of this country. There's so many varieties of birds and indigenous plants. Mm. I just learned that the cherry blossom, it doesn't come from Japan, it comes from no. here. It comes from here. So, so uh, we believe in this fundamental uh, starting point of place-based learning. Okay. Um, it's, it's, it's education lingo, but like, when we start with school, we start with like all these like big scary things, you know, like, <laughs> discipline and sit in your chair and wear your tie and this is how you go to the toilet and uh, this is what it means to be you know a student mm. and be in discipline and sit still um, uh, oh and the world is a scary place and Nepal is a poor country and uh, I'm trying to think of more examples there's global warming mm. and um, oh your mom cooks food in the kitchen while daddy goes to work <laughs> like there's all these problems Okay, so, so, but what if, what if, in the concept of place-based education, we start with what's right in front of us? There's a butterfly, there's soil, there's indigenous culture and community, there's elders we can mm. learn from. So I, I, I think that might, might have happened is we went from, like, um, we need to abandon our ancient ways to, like, adopting this Indian British system and what's proper and what's good and what's civilized. And I think we have been, and, and there's a lot to be lost. I'm actually a big fan of the unschooled movement. I'm very fascinated with it. So, so there was a lot that was lost in that transition. So what I'm really passionate about is keeping what is good. So my, my students, they fall in love with the mountain mm. right there and the community forest that's there and they interact with the trees and they come to love their place and be proud of their place and learn about the forest and the people and the community and the makers and the honey bee keeper. And we start education from this real holistic sense. And it's actually very easy. You don't need books. You know, you have the community. And you, I believe in schools being the heartbeat, the center, the focal point of a community. It's mm. where children, people, community members, elders can all come together. And we've lost that. It's like become these cement buildings up on the corner where nobody engages or interacts. It's what Rachel Didi was saying yesterday. She's from Teach for Nepal. And no, it, I remember, yeah. Like, yeah, we, we, let's bring, let's engage in our schools and, and talk about what's important. So yeah, we're, we're very much like a little bit counterculture in the way that, yeah, let's do things differently. I don't want to see my students at a desk all day. I want to see them at, interacting with the world and with the community, with their trees, with the local temple or mosque or 
Stupa. So, so it's it's that the essence of place based learning. And I'm I'm not an educator. Mm. I, we have a team for that. Um, but then, yeah, moving into character and kindness, critical thinking. We actually shouldn't be like talking at kids at the front of the board. We should be listening to them. So our teachers do a lot of that, of just listening, creating space, creating room for debate where it's okay to disagree instead of just bowing your ha hand down and being in discipline and waiting for the stick to hit you when you... <laughs> so it's, 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 it's all of this. Um, our school is made of mud. Mm, yeah. um, it's made, it's designed as a vernacular, beautiful Nepali ecosystem. It's completely run by solar, rainwater harvest, a hundred different varieties of fruit and nut and indigenous trees and plants. There's birds, there's butterflies. You can't go from one class to the other without going outside. It's a coconut turf futsal field. It's, um, it's just beautiful terracotta colors. It's bamboo, um, all made by uh, some of the best in this country, all, all made in Nepal. Mm -hmm. It's one of our, our key principles. So, yeah, just keeping to what's real. And Nepal's got a lot going to it uh, for it. And, and let's not abandon that and build these yeah. cement buildings. And, uh, yeah, um, let's just keep it, keep it real, keep it with nature. Mm. That's kind of what, what we're about, green school. While you're talking about this, how does it work? How how does the system work? Like, uh, uh, how is it funded, and how do the kids do the kids even pay something, or the parents? Obviously, how is it sustained? So we are an orphan care school. Mm. In order to get admission into our school, you have to be um, very, very highly vulnerable based on uh, criteria. Mm. Oh, there it is! There it is. There oh, it thanks is. for pulling it up. Um, oh, you'll have to come here and I'll walk you through. hundred percent, hundred percent. It's beautiful. Next time I'm in Turkey, hundred percent. We'll so, I'll plan it. I'll plan it. So yeah. our architect was Prabhu Tapa. Um, that's a Bari there represented Ramdor Solutions, Matogar, s s some really, really amazing people. Manahar, uh, um, that's a smart Pani design system where we mm. collect rain, we harvest it, we filter it. It goes through, uh, this regenerative process, they created their own water filtration system. Gray water gets recycled, black gets con converted. Our, our waste runs the Bunsen burners. That's fodder for the cows, which, which then generates compost mm. for our garden, which is on the other side of this photo. But the, the milk feeds the kids. Um, the whole, it's, uh, it's beautiful. You live within the system? Within the, so I live... Yeah. Um, we're actually expanding up there. Mm. Um, but yeah, I live down, so we run two residential programs as well. We run a women's empowerment center, yeah, yeah. um, and, and that's spread throughout Circuit Valley. We're very expansive, um, in the community. Mm. So, so that's the, that's it. We're called the Blink Now Foundation, yeah. change the world in the blink of an eye. Um, and we're a team of 150. We have small donors around the world. Mm. Actually a lot of Nepal, we have 4,000 Nepali donors big to small, um, Kathmandu to the UK, to Australia, yeah. to the US, mm -hmm. to Canada, mm -hmm. um, that sustain this work, that mm -hmm. throw in a monthly contribution through, we call it Roots, we're all nature-based. So people donate, a small family foundations, grants, and that's how we do what we do. We're small, we're lean, we're mean, and we've slowly, slowly grown over the years. Um, and uh, we're, we're working and integrating with the local public school system um, and just getting into the community as much, we can, as, much as we can. And, and our goal is to, to really change Karnali in the next decade. तपाईले हाम्रो क्लिप एकदमै एन्जॉय गर्नु भयो होला अब पुरै भिडियो हेर्नको लागि चाहिँ युट्युब मा सब्स्क्राइब गर्न नबिर्सिनु होला This program is brought to you by Vyas Studios.